All right, welcome back to Cedric Lewis, my career, and I'm recording this directly after the Heat just lost the NBA Finals and Jimmy Butler just sold the entire series. Yep, so um, I'm going to be in a very, very short fuse with LaMelo and this team. Jump ball, Aiton, you better win it, buddy. I am on a short, short fuse, and you lost it. All right, and now I need a guard, Luka Doncic. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Russell Westbrook is off their bench. They're starting Markel Fultz over him. I, I'm just not over that loss, dude. We had the lead, a 10-point lead, basically, without the whole game. Come the third quarter, all of a sudden, it's tied, and the Heat just give it away. Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler was 2 of 12 heading into the fourth quarter. Decided to hit some sort of shots, and then took the dumbest three of his life, and then proceeded to turn the ball over right after. It's a magnificent, a magnificent way to end the Miami Heat's historic season as Kuzma throws that one down. Luka Doncic's ball, top of the three-point line, gives it up to Markel Fultz, who's going to post up LaMelo Ball into the paint. Misses that one, Cedric Lewis, with the layup. Give it up, Aaron Gordon. You got Chris Middleton on you. Put it right up over him, and he's going to the line. The Mavericks are staying in this game. We are both 6 of 10. That is insane, but we've hit more threes than them, and we have one free throw to their none uh, yet. Oh, my God, Luka with the steal. He's going to give it up to Markel Fultz. He's going to pull up contested midi, and it's off. Cedric Lewis picks up his third rebound. We're going to set the screen. Come on, Aaron Gordon. You've been my favorite player. I'm going to pull it, and it's a bad release. Cedric Lewis is off to a bad start today. And the Mavericks tie it up. And for those of you asking, Cedric Lewis uses Trey Burke's jump shot. I have Trey Burke's jump shot on quick. And that is what it is as I just do not have it down right now. But Sabonis, second offensive rebound of the game, gives us the lead right back. Cedric Lewis getting subbed out fairly early. Four minutes left in this first quarter. Up by two. Down by three now. Getting subbed back in the game. They're actually going to run the offense through Cedric. Uh, LaMelo Ball comes at the screen where just a heavy pick and roll offense. Uh, Matisse Leibel wide open for three. He knocks it down. If you don't know in this universe, Matisse Leibel apparently can shoot. He has an 81 three-point rating, and he is actually playing better than Max Schroes did on this team. And since he's up, oh, never mind, Matisse Leibel. Oh, he almost hit that. I was about to say, since he's Matisse Leibel, usually the AI sags off of him a little bit. Because he's not, he's probably got like a 46 three pointer in real life. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but he's just like a perfect 3 and D player now, and as he fouls in this franchise or whatever my NBA. Aaron Gordon's got five points on two of two shooting so far in this game. He's one of two from the free throw line, but we won't talk about that. Up by six though, and they have been not really giving Luca the ball. They finally give it to him there, and he's gonna miss the shot, get the offense aboard. And put it right back up. I don't know how Aaron Gordon didn't get that. But Luka Doncic there with the putback. He kind of cooked me on that possession there. I won't lie. Uh, he missed the shot though. As I'm open for three. And I'm finally going to knock one down. Second three of the game. Two of five in the game for Cedric Lewis from downtown. He's got ten points, three rebounds, four assists. Flirting with the triple-double possibly. The rebounds are going to be the toughest thing to get. As Luka Doncic gets right by and dunks on Cedric. A oh, wide open from downtown. Cedric knocks down his third three of the night. Three of six. And this is a competitive game unlike that Wizards game where we just completely dominated them. The Mavericks are staying in it as Luka takes a deep three. I get the rebound there. Aiden almost tried to steal it. Aiden, keep cutting. Keep cutting, Aiden. Okay. All right. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. That should go. Cedric, fourth three of the game. Step back over Luka Doncic. Give the Hornets a seven-point lead. Oh, my God. I hit that. Cedric, five threes. What is that, four in the quarter for Lewis? I don't know how I hit that step back. This sharpshooting takeover is OP. That wasn't even a good release. 19 5 and 5 in this first half for Cedric. Unbelievable. They have Isaiah Hartenstein with the ball going to Marco Fultz back with the post fade, and it's good. Oh my god, we just got a steal. We just got a steal. 
And I, I really wanted to pull that. Oh, almost turned over. Nope, we're not going to do that. We are not going to do that, Mr. Thibel. Oh, LaMelo in the corner. It's good. LaMelo Ball gives us an 11-point lead. Oh, okay, Sedge is getting subbed out. We only are up by five now. Mavericks went on a little bit of a run. Four-point lead going to halftime. I'm all for a competitive game. Mavericks cut it to two. I am flirting with a triple-double. 21 points, seven rebounds, nine assists. Make it 10. No, he ain't hitting that. Yeah, he ain't hitting that. A little bit too contested. It didn't look it as I tried getting a steal there. I have not been able to really pick people's pockets like I used to. Most of the time, it's just uh, a reaching foul. That's why I've been fouling out a lot of these games. That's the third one on Cedric Lewis. As Marco Fultz brings the ball back out. They have not been giving Luka Doncic the ball much as they give it to him there. Uh, Luka Doncic, hell no. Get that out of here! Lamelo with the steal! Actually, no, I got the block. Lamelo with the ball gets the layup. It's my second block of the game. Both on Luka Doncic. That one for... I thought I was going to foul because I have been fouling jump shooters a lot in this season. Chris Middleton cannot get by Aaron Gordon. He has probably been my favorite acquisition. And that's another miss. The Hornets playing smothering defense. Oh, I wanted the lob there. Give it to me. I wanted that shot. But I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to drive to the paint and get fouled. Get that out of here! Another block! Cedric with three on the game, all on Luka Doncic, two on his jump shot. I'm sorry if I jump scared you there, but I did not expect that. Oh my goodness, what a block. Chris Middleton, I see, that's what I'm talking about, the jump shot fouls. That's my fourth. I've been doing it so much. Alright, Cedric Lewis is getting subbed out right now. Only up by six, the Mavericks are not going away. Seven-point lead has been about that the entire game. Mavericks still very much in it. I'm still looking for a triple-double, but I have a feeling I'm going to end up with eight or nine rebounds. I don't think I'm going to end up getting it because usually when I get close, either my rebounds get stolen or the opposing team makes every shot. Luka only has two assists in this game. That is terrible for Luka Doncic. I won't lie. That is unlike him. Aaron Gordon. Oh, I thought that was going to be an and one. Cedric Lewis has picked up his fourth block on Luka Doncic and is one rebound away from a triple-double. This game has been absolutely ridiculous for Cedric Lewis defensively and offensively. Luka with the layup, and he gets it to go. Oh, and there it is. I got another block on Luka and the triple-double. Oh my goodness, what a game for Cedric Lewis. Kick it out, Aiton, putting the finishing touch on what has been an absolute masterclass for Cedric Lewis. 14-point lead for the Hornets. Cedric has 33 points, 10 rebounds, 13 assists, several steals. Ah, oh, as I bit on that, and he's going to miss, and we're going to get the rebound. What a game for Lewis. Can he top it off with the three? He jumps for it. Cedric, it's good. 36.17 point lead. And the Hornets are going to take down Luka and the Mavericks. 13 seconds left. Mavericks trying to get some sort of shot off, but they can't. Uh, and Clax, he's going to the line. We're really going to sit through free throws to end this game. Speaking of free throws, there have not been many in this game. As you can see, neither team in the bonus. One foul for the Mavericks, two for the Hornets as Claxton knocks down the second one. And that is going to do it. We are going to beat the Dallas Mavericks. 100 to 113 is your final score. And we are going to pick up our 16th win of the season, moving to 16 and 5, staying first place in the East. And our first matchup with Luka Doncic in the series ends up in a victory. Final box score, Cedric Lewis. All I needed was two more steals for a 5x5. Five five. I wish I knew that, or else I would have just been super aggressive. 40-point triple-double, 11 rebounds, 13 assists, 3 steals, 6 blocks, which is a career high for Cedric Lewis, and only 3 turnovers. Didn't shoot well, shot over 50% from the field, but 6 of 15 from 3 is just not it. See, only went to the line 2 times. 
Uh, DeAndre Ayton had a monster game, 23 points, 12 rebounds, 2 blocks, only missing 2 shots. And Sabonis, 16 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, no turnovers, 7 of 11 from the field. LaMelo Ball did not play much, only 26 minutes. Isaiah Joe played nearly the same amount of minutes for some reason. Oh, uh, he had 12 points on 5 or 7, hit both of his 3s. And Aaron Gordon, 10 points on 4 of 6 shooting. Look at that, all of our starters scored 10 or more. That's what we need, especially when our bench is not doing well, as you can see here, if we go over to the Mavericks, look at Doncic dropped 33 points, but I had him clamped up, bro. I had a six rebounds, three assists. A lot of those points were in garbage time, two steals, shot 50% from the field, one of seven from three. I think four or five of those, probably four, were blocked. Uh, Chris Middleton was a second league score of 14, not getting you the win. He got no help. Three of 10 from Markel Fultz, two of five from Westbrook, who only played 13 minutes for some reason, but if we, yeah, if we look in that fourth quarter, Luka had 13 of his points in that quarter, and it clearly didn't matter. When I was guarding him, look at that, four points in that third quarter. In the second quarter, eight points and three of eight shooting. He just had a really good first quarter. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.